Hello, I want to welcome you to Cottle Farms today. My name is Ron Cottle and today we're going to be looking at some of our strawberries being grown and we're going to be talking about organic straws and conventionals. The variety grown here on our farm is Camarosa. It's a wonderful variety. It's got very good flavor. It uh, is harvested in the morning, pre-cooled immediately and shipped to the distribution centers or either Harris Teeter stores overnight. It's very important that we get this fruit as quick as we can from our field to your, to your table and that's because we're trying to pick this fruit as red as we can so it's got great flavor and that it, it, the shelf life will be as good as it possibly can for picking it that red. We're today in the organic strawberry farm. Um, we've just got through picking this field. We have about six acres of organic strawberries, all the Camarosa variety. All of our organic strawberries are planted from stock that come from organic plants that are started up in Prince Edward Island, Canada. Um, they're planted in October. All of our nutritional that we use here is compost. Um, we're very limited on the, the number of chemicals that can be used grown organically, so it's a really challenge to grow the strawberries. But uh, we are doing a very good job at it, and we are shipping most of all these strawberries to Harris Teeter. Depending on the, the crop and when we get started, the number of berries per plant, it usually takes anywhere from two or three pickers per acre when we first get started to as many as up to seven to eight pickers per acre when the volume really starts coming strong. We have about six acres of organic strawberries. Uh, they're planted mostly around the month of October, and we usually start harvesting them here in eight, late April um, through May. The strawberries are about 15,500 plants per acre, and uh, they produce somewhere around anywhere from 15 to 16,000 pounds is a pretty good yield on organic berries. Besides the six acres of organic strawberries grown here at Cottle Farms, we also raise another 50 acres of conventional strawberries, same variety, Camarosas, um, planted again in October, harvested in April and May. Uh, good yields on conventional berries are usually from 18 to 22,000 pounds per acre. Harvesting of the strawberry crop depends on the weather. If the weather's really hot, we'll pick every other day on cool conditions when we first get started in the spring. We might be every other day. Uh, we usually pick the strawberries, like I say, from mid-April till the end of May. Um, some years we can actually go to the first week of June, depending on when the heat comes. When the heat comes, it actually is what shuts down the plant and stops it from fruiting. A normal picking day would start for us normally around 6 o'clock in the morning. Depending on as quick as the sun would rise, we'd start picking. The, the earlier and the sooner we can start in the fields harvesting, the better quality of fruit due to the less heat in the berry itself. The way we form the rows and lay the plastics, we have special machinery that actually comes through and beds up the land and applies the plastic. And up under each row of plastic, we have drip tape. And that's where we control the uh, irrigation of the uh, strawberry plant. So we can actually water any day we want to in, in the times that we need to keep the plant sufficiently wet. As you're looking through our middles of our farms, you'll see that there's been ryegrass planted. Once we lay the plastic, we always come back and plant ryegrass to keep the uh, middles from washing away or eroding. In the wintertime, we get a lot of rain here and possible, so planting the ryegrass helps with erosion. And normally by the springtime with the heat, the ryegrass starts to die back and die, which makes a very nice mulch in the centers to keep other weeds from competing with the uh, strawberries. We're very limited on the resources we can use on organic as far as fertility. Um, and also chemicals. Chemicals we don't have but just a few that are that are safe and that are uh, approved for growing organic strawberries. So it's a very challenging crop to grow but when it all comes together it's very rewarding and it's as safe as you can as you can possibly get to eat for yourself, your child and that's what we're growing here for Harris Cedar. We want to thank you for visiting our strawberry farm today. If you need any more information on our company please look us up online at www.coddlefarms.com and we hope to see you in a, your local Harris Theater store with one of our berries in your hand.